I just think it's funny that um, conservatives and uh, people who have questioned the theory of climate change uh, get get labeled as intolerant, but yet um, when there's real science and real criticisms, um, the other side can't can't handle it, and they I think I think they resort to these low low tactics to discredit um, others. So I don't know, a bit of well, a well, just it just also highlight. You know, I think what's also ironic about this one is that I'm the sponsor of uh, Senate Bill 5735, the Clean Energy Investment Fund, which will do more to uh, put new technology on the ground and reduce carbon, if that's your big issue, than any of the other legislation passed so far this year. So it's more of a partisan battle. And I, I really feel sorry for these young people, you know, in our colleges and our, our public schools today, because they're being fed such a line of propaganda and it's such a heavily partisan atmosphere. I'm, I'm not sure how universities or public schools think that's going to benefit these kids in the long run. Um, and it'll take a few years for them to sort out, you know, kind of the, uh, huh, what they were telling me at Western, what I heard in my high school, maybe that's not so accurate. Yeah. And I think it's a disservice to the kids also I d- uh, to put them through that. I definitely had a couple of those moments going uh, come out of college, and uh, it's always interesting. Well, Senator, that's our cue. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, real pleasure. I think we had a uh, great great discussion. And for everyone out there, uh, there's always MyFreedomFoundation.com. Check us out. Uh, read our blog. Listen to our podcast. And we will talk to you tomorrow. All right, thank you very much. Looking forward to being on again. Next time I'm on, we got to discuss where the free capital of Washington would be located. All right, that sounds good, Senator. <laughs> Take care. Take care.